What's going on guys, Captain of Storms here. Welcome back to the channel. So before we begin, if you're new to the channel or haven't yet done so, make sure to subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like too. Thanks. So we are back with Subnautica Below Zero. And today I wanted to show you guys what I think is the perfect storage room. So let me just say this. I understand that this storage room may not work for everybody and that's fine. People have different preferences, different bases, different styles of crafting, and that's totally cool. But with that being said, let me show you around. So for the first thing you wanna do is have a fabricator in your storage room. You don't wanna park your car down the street when you have a garage, right? You wanna have a fabricator in the storage room so that you're not going back and forth from one room to the next. The same thing applies with the modification station. It's just better to have both of these in the same room as your materials. Another thing I like to do is have pre-crafted items in a storage locker ready to go. It's just easier for me and a, a good way to have a system in place where you can craft things very quickly. Another thing I like to do is put extra equipment right next to the modification station too. Put your batteries, power cells, extra upgrades, put all that stuff in a locker. It's very effective, okay? Another thing I like to do is color code things. So for instance, titanium is blue. The ion cubes are green. The rupees are red. I know they're not actually rupees, guys. I know they're rubies. It's a Zelda reference and, you know, just don't pay me, you know, pay no mind to me. The uh, plants are yellow. So that's just one thing you can do to find things a little faster. Another thing I like to do is put certain materials in certain sections. So metals will be in one section. The glass and crystalline sulfurs will be in another section. Rare items will be in another section. Plants in another and so on and so forth. So for me, this is just an easy way to keep things organized with enough storage so that I don't have to worry about, you know, when I'm coming back in where I'm going to put things. I had the exact same setup in Subnautica and it worked beautifully. It was very effective, very efficient. And, you know, I understand that you may have a better way of doing things or, you know, you may have a, a different way of doing things that you like better. And that's totally fine, guys. I respect that. In fact, I'd love to hear, you know, how you do things in the comments. So just keep that in mind that, you know, I think this is just a general way for people to have a setup in their storage room. So with that being said, guys, we are going to wrap this video up and we will see you on the next one.